Okay, so we've just worked out um, how to put a line on the page, how to select it, how to change the length of the line, how to change the angle of the line, and how to change the endpoint and start point coordinates. I'd like to just um, show you what these buttons down here do on the snap toolbar. This is called the snap toolbar. Snap off, snap on. Okay, so snaps on there at the moment when it's pressed in or indented, that means it's on. If you want to turn it off, click on it, snaps off. What will happen if you try and draw a line, you see that the cursor is different. You can still draw a line the same, but you'll see that it's not actually aligning anywhere with the grid in particular. If we move right in by scrolling the mouse wheel and zoom in, I can put that line anywhere I like on the page. I can move the end of it. If I put snap on, watch what happens now. You don't you tend not to have as much control over the line because it's trying to snap it to a point on the grid. Snap is really important um, to line up your lines and connect lines instead of um, using snap off and trying to connect lines manually because we, we can zoom right in on this page as much as you would like to go. So you might be um, the smallest amount not connected to your line and that will make a big difference when you try and put uh, fills or patterns into a picture. So what we want to do is make sure that snap is on. Now grid point snap is important too because with grid point snap off I can still move this around and it's not aligning to the grid. However, what is it snapping to? It's snapping to parts of the line that I've already got there. So watch what happens when I move this over here. A red box appears near the end of the line. What that's called is end point snap. I'm just going to leave it over here for now. E, end point snap. So even though I haven't got grid point snap on, I've got snap on and end point snap enabled. That means that I can try and line up my line with that line there, but it's going to select end point snap for me as a default. If I let go of my mouse there now, and we zoom in to this section over here, you'll see that if we can go right in, that line has connected with the end of that line there. Okay, so we're right on the point. I could try and do that without snap on and think I have it right, but if I'm a, a touch out of the smallest thousandth of a millimeter, when I go and put a fill in here or a pattern, it might leak out into the rest of the page and it won't give me an accurate indication of size. So make sure snaps on. Control G brings our page to the foreground like that. Make sure grid point snap is on. I leave grid point snap on and snap on there, end point snap. This is jump snap. Don't worry about having that one on for now. Midpoint snap is the next one we'll have a look at. So select your line, grab the end of this one, and you'll automatically see that there's a triangle. Now that's midpoint snap. Square is endpoint snap. Triangle is midpoint snap. Okay, and we can let it go there. And I've just put what I've effectively done is found the exact center of the line that was there, and I've snapped it to that point, the middle of the line. Another snap tool I like to use is perpendicular snap. I'm just going to throw another line on here. Endpoint snap comes up. So I click, I drag my mouse down, click again. I'm going to come up here and change the angle to 270.00 and you'll see that the line is perfectly square to this one because we've gone 0, 90, 180 would be there, 270, 360 or 0 would be back into here. So it all works on angles of a circle.
So I've got this line here, perpendicular snap. What it does is it'll actually line up your line that you put in with another intersecting line at a 90 degree angle for you. So I'm just going to throw another line in here. And that one was already at zero. When I go to put this line up here, you'll see the perpendicular snap tool. It's slightly different. looks like a square with a few little um, longer tails on two sides. That's the perpendicular snap tool. And that's going to line up the line that I've drawn here perfectly perpendicular to that line it's touching. So I'll click there. I've drawn myself a rectangle. Perpendicular snap's very important. I like to have that one on. I like to have midpoint snap on and endpoint snap. If you put all of the snaps on, you can find that it gets a bit confusing. Because what will happen is, every time I have my line, I've got different uh, symbols that will come up. And I might get a little bit confused with what these symbols are. So I prefer to just have endpoint, midpoint, and perpendicular on. Intersection snap is another one that can be on, which is not too bad as well. Intersection snap will help you um, find an intersecting line. Now what I um, would like to point out now is that if I wanted to keep this rectangle, and I've got these lines out here and I don't want them, I can just select them and press delete. This one here, if I delete that, there's two ways I could do this. I could delete that line and put a new line in and do it two endpoint snaps and there it is. Or I could just grab the end of this line and drag it back to an endpoint snap. And there we've drawn a rectangle. So I've just used the select tool to select that rectangle and I can move that anywhere on the page that I like. You'll notice that midpoint snaps on and it's trying to select midpoint there. If the snaps um, start to get a bit of a hassle and say I want to put the thing right there but it, it just um, wants to keep going over to snap, just turn snap off for a second, move it to where you want, turn snap back on. Alright, so we've drawn a rectangle. Um, the next lesson we'll have a look at is putting in a border, which is going to be quite easy um, after we've done this. And then we might start to try and look at offset tool, which is a really neat way to draw lines.